Hello and welcome to another very exciting StarCraft 2 video. Um, I'm going to show a match between my brothers Random and Divan. And Divan is spawning as the blue Protoss in the bottom right corner of the map, and Random is spawning as the green Protoss in the top right corner of the map. And you might not understand what they say because we're Swedish, so. Random basically said he's playing random, and well, that makes sense because he his name is random. <laughs> and you can see here their APM random use. He's like me, he spams his uh, units like this. I usually do that as well, but D1 doesn't do that, so uh, that way random's APM is higher than D1's, and both are doing fairly similar so far. Random's pylon are a bit ahead of Divan's, and as soon as they went put down their pylons, they went off to scout, and both went anti-clockwise. <laughs> so Random went over here, and Divan went straight up to Random's base, doing a bit of scouting there, and not much to see right now. Random is trying to put pressure onto that probe and since he isn't going to the bottom left corner himself he figured out that where D1 spawned since uh, he saw where his probe came from. Now this is a, is a very interesting map, there's a high yield expansion right in between these two start locations and it's not that far away from your ramp and the considerable natural expansion is far away from your base so it's uh, harder than y on most maps to defend and obviously this is perfectly mirrored on the bottom side of the map just like any Blizzard map usually are. And <laughs> this probe is still running around here, seeing everything that's going on. He knew that uh, Random put down a pylon back here, so he is pr aware of that Random may try to hide some tech buildings back here. A second gas is coming up. He has one gateway and one cybernetics core. Divan is just throw down his second gateway and also has his cybernetics core down, and he's boosting out uh, chrono boosting out warp gates, and that's the same thing Random does. But Random still only has one gateway and just put down a Twilight Council, so we'll probably we might see some High Templar action here. Random also has his probe still scattering around in Devon's base, so you can't, as a Protoss, you can't really do anything about that scout until you get Stalkers out. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure if uh, Devon saw this Twilight Council. Let's have a look. No, he didn't see it. Seems like Devon is going for a gateway build here, and instead of, I, I was expecting a fourth gateway here actually, but instead he th threw down a forge. And randomly throwing down more gateways, and he's also upgrading Blink for his Starkos, so he's probably going to use Starkos. Oh, that was what he got his Twilight Council for. Dima just now threw down his expansion, and that's risky since I, since because of what I told you before, it's really far away from your main base. So, if this is under, 
if a random should attack this, it will take we have Devan a real long time to pull all of his forces around the ramp and over to reinforce this expansion. And also, he just put spent 400 minerals on that nexus. That's 400 minerals that random could spend on forces instead. And that means that until Devan can get this expansion saturated, random will have more forces. And we have a little push here from random with three stalkers and two sentries against four stalkers. Also, remember that Devan, uh, random upgraded blink for his stock or so but uh, he don't quite have what it takes to break down this so he pulls back to his proxy pylon where he summons in more units this is a very common place to put a proxy pylon it is halfway across from your base to your opponent's base so you can warp in units a lot closer to your opponent's base when you're going for those pushes to reinforce your push. Here he tries again. And he force fills that Starker away from the, uh, uh, he, the main group and takes, uh, takes it out. There he does it again. The, he, the force field pushes these units away so they get out of range to attack this group of units while he snipes the group that got to the outside of the force field. And he just now realizes that Devon has too few forces to ha for uh, the kind of one base economy, so he must have expanded recently, and that's why he checks out the natural expansion, and indeed there is a nexus there. And he started to move these sentries to the left, so I thought he would force field the ram so he couldn't reinforce the expansion, but instead he is doing a counter push. And all he's going to see here is a probe that Random put here, probably because he planned to make his own expansion anytime soon. And well placed force field there, it, st it prevents Steven from escaping from this uh, attack. Oh, and here's Dark Templars out. I don't think. Devon has anything that can see Dark Templars. He just threw, put down two photon cannons, but it is way too late. And he uh, he doesn't have a robotics facility either, so he's not going to get observers out anytime soon. And all these probes are so defenseless, and he GG's out. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Run on Entity.